by Ruth Samway Chesenge, which paints the picture of the crisis as thousands of teachers stayed away from the classrooms today in protest ahead of this uh, crucial examinations term. Listen in. Monday morning at the Bungoma High School. Kupet officials taking matters into their own hands to enforce a nationwide strike by locking the gates of the school. In Eldoret, students flocked different bus termini within the city departing for school, but unsure whether there would be learning anyway. This is what the third term of learning in secondary schools kicked off too. Kupet raising the ante in protest of failure to implement the second phase of the 2021-2025 collective bargaining agreement. To ensure that no teacher will come in this school, no student will come in this school, and from here we are moving to other schools to ensure that all the schools are closed. And teachers, this is the advice I'm giving to you. Do not go to schools, do not move around the schools, and parents know that teachers are on strike to not take your children to school at the moment. In Nakuru, Kupet branch members protested in different parts of the town in solidarity of the nationwide strike. Similar scenes were witnessed in Siaya town. Here, however, members of the union took issue with a decision by the Kenya National Union of Teachers, NAT, to call off their industrial action. When two things are distinct, it means they are separable. And if they are separable, it means one can exist without the other. So we are here as corporate to exist without the other as much as we are, will be standing for the rights of our overworked teachers. In Mombasa County, police officers had to disperse the teachers, saying their strike was illegal. Similar protests were witnessed in Nandi, Machakos, Embu, Laikipia, Trans Zoya, Kericho, among other counties. Out to inspect the reopening of schools on Monday was Education Cabinet Secretary Julius Ogamba. Seemingly with empty public secondary schools, the CS appealed with the union to call off the strike while promising prompt action. The government has given due priority to teachers despite the various competing needs and the very difficult economic circumstances that we are operating in as a country. I therefore call upon the Union of Post-Primary Education Teachers, COPET, to review their stance and to call off their strike. The government has demonstrated goodwill and readiness to address all the issues raised by them. We therefore see no reason for confrontation with that particular union. Migos says the ministry had disbursed 21.8 billion shillings in capitation money for primary, junior and secondary schools and pronouncement not likely to do much in a way of assuaging Kupet, which is demanding the full implementation of the last CBA. Ruth Sarmoy Chesenge, NTV. <laughs>